Hello students, we now move on to the third chapter, Integers. Before I go over to Integers, we will have a look at something else. I have some pebbles here. Can you tell me how many pebbles are there? Yes, you can do that by counting the pebbles. Another example is, you want to find out how many trees are there in our school compound. We have to count the trees to find out the answer to how many. So, numbers were created because of the need to count things in nature. Now, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 that we use for counting are called counting numbers or natural numbers. Can we count the stars in the sky? They are innumerable. So are natural numbers. You are also familiar with addition and subtraction of natural numbers. But when we subtract 3 minus 3, nothing remains. That is, the answer is 0. But 0 is not in the list of natural numbers. But we cannot do without 0. Therefore, the set of natural numbers together with 0 is the set of whole numbers. So whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now what are the uses of numbers? In mathematics, numbers are used to count, measure and calculate. Numbers arise from counting objects. We use numbers in counting money, measurements, phone numbers, password and page numbers etc. We also use numbers in mathematics, history, geography and science. Now we can show the temperature of a place using whole numbers say 37 degrees centigrade. But in Kashmir the temperature may fall below 0 degrees centigrade. To show that, we need numbers that are less than 0. To show numbers less than 0, we use the minus sign. Numbers less than 0 are called negative numbers. Numbers greater than 0 are called positive numbers. Can we show the negative numbers on the number line? Yes, we can. The numbers 1, 2, 3 on the right of 0 are called positive numbers and the numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 on the left of 0 are called negative numbers. On the thermometer, the positive numbers are above 0 and the negative numbers are below 0. We also use negative numbers in an elevator. Here the ground floor is considered as 0. So going to the basement parking or to the floors below the ground floor the negative numbers are used. So here in this picture you can see the negative numbers marked here minus 1, minus 2 etc. We also use positive and negative numbers in describing places, the height or depth of a particular thing. Say the height of a mountain is expressed in positive number because it is above the ground. When things are below the surface of the C, we express it using a negative number. Here you can see the submarine is minus 500 feet. That is, it is 500 feet below the surface of the sea. Always remember, the plus sign is generally not written before a positive number. However, it is necessary to write the minus sign of a negative number. Now, 0 does not have any sign. Now we come to the main topic which is integers. Now the positive numbers 0 and the negative numbers together form a group of numbers which are called as integers. Now as you can see here we have the first set of numbers that we learned which is the natural numbers. The natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. When you include 0 to the group of natural numbers, we get the next list 
a next set which is called as the next set of whole numbers. When you add the negative numbers to whole numbers, you get the group of numbers called as integers. Now, let's come to the practice set. Before doing the practice set, always remember a few things. On the thermometer or when you are recording temperatures, temperature above 0 degree are positive and below 0 degree are negative. Similarly, height above the ground is positive and depth under the ground or below sea level are considered negative. Now, let us solve the exercise. The exercise is quite simple. The first question is classify the following numbers as positive numbers and negative numbers. You can classify, make two groups like positive numbers and negative numbers and consider the numbers one by one. The first number is minus 5. Is it positive or negative? The number is negative. So, I put it in the list of negative numbers. What is the next number? The next number is 4. Is it positive or negative? Yes, it is a positive number. So, I will include 4 in positive numbers. Similarly, you can solve the other sums, other numbers like minus 2, 7, 26, etc. You can look at the sign and then you can put them or classify them under positive and negative numbers. We now move on to the second question. Second question is given below are temperatures in some cities. Write them using the proper sign. Now, the temperatures of few places, Shamla, Leh, Delhi and Nagpur are given. It is written in words. You have to express them in numbers using the proper sign. The first one, Shimla, it is 7 degree below 0 degree. So, remember, below 0 degree means it is a negative number. That means you will express the temperature as minus 7 degree centigrade. Now, coming to lay, I think you can do this sum. How will you express it? 12 degree centigrade below 0 degree. So, what will be the answer? Yes, minus 12 degree centigrade. You can complete that. Now, coming to Delhi, it is 22 degree centigrade above 0. Above 0 means it is a, yes, positive number. So, the answer is 22 degree centigrade. You need not put the plus sign because it is a positive number. And I guess you can do the last one on your own. Now, let us take the third question. Again, third question has got three, sorry, four subdivisions or four sub questions. I will be doing only one. You will solve the remaining three. Now, write the numbers in the following example using proper signs. A submarine is at a depth of 512 meters below sea level. So, it is below sea level means it is a negative number. So, what will be the answer? The answer is minus 512 meters. How will you, that is the answer. That we come to the end of the first practice set. You can solve the practice set as homework. We will continue with integers in the next video. Thank you.